Hey guys, this is Ricardo from Watch With Us, and this week, in for a review, we have a watch frame favorite, the Mastergraph from Brew Watches. Now, the Mastergraph is one of Brew's models. In terms of dimensions, this watch is 38 millimeters wide, 41 and a half millimeters from lug to lug. And in terms of depth, we have a depth of 10 and a half millimeters. Now the watch comes in multiple colorways, but here we have the copper dial version of the watch. Bringing you in close, you can see the sub dials. We have a 24 hour sub dial at three. We have the chronograph minute counter at nine and at six we have running seconds. I'm gonna engage the chronograph. Now the bezel is unidirectional and I know some of you may have realize the markings we have here from 30 to 35 seconds. Now these markings have to do with the brand and ties into the brew name. So what these markings represent is what many consider to be the perfect brew time for an espresso shot. Now, had we started brewing our espresso right here at 35 seconds, the idea is that between 30 and 35 seconds from when we started brewing, that is considered the optimum brew time for an espresso shot. And it's kind of cool how Jonathan, who's the owner of the brand, incorporated this into the design. Now, I have these not so great gloves on but still you get a nice crisp action on the bezel not a lot of back play inside for anyone who's running we have a v68 seiko chronograph movement that movement is rated to have a three-year battery life on a new battery and that's if you're running the chronograph for 60 minutes on a daily period. Now for me, biggest thing I like about this watch is definitely the copper dial that we have. Um, it really ties into the brand. It gives off this, this color that you would get with a nice cafe au lait The loom pips, as you can see, are slightly green as there's sunlight coming in. I'll kind of cover, cover this up so that you guys can kind of see how that looks. You kind of can see the loom. You have your loom pip, of course, and you have the indices. Also want to show you guys, of course, how this looks on my seven and a half inch wrist. Let me just get this on, voila. Very comfortable. Um, the square shape means that the 38 millimeters still looks, it, it doesn't look huge, but it still looks sizable on the wrist. It doesn't look too small or too dainty. It actually looks perfect. You guys can see the depth right here. Now, as for my personal opinions on a watch, but first, before I go there, here's just the sign crass. As I say, my personal opinions are on the watch. I think the watch, um, it's definitely in a very competitive range of watches. This watch is priced at $375. 
Um, there are a ton of Seiko Mecha Quartz um, powered chronographs in that price range. But if you're buying this watch, chances are you're buying it for the design. Uh, the design definitely stands out. Uh, you have a lot of racing inspired chronographs at that price range. Um, you have a, a bunch of, uh, you also have a couple diver inspired chronographs at that price range. A lot coming from Seiko and, you know, of course, some com coming up, some, <laughs> some coming from other brands. Uh, but still, this stands out. It, it, there's just something about this watch, that copper dial. Uh, the just the overall aesthetic of the watch. If there's one thing I'd have to harp on, uh, probably two things, and one of them is not really a gripe, it's more of a wish. Um, in terms of a gripe, I think the, the hands, the choice of the black for the hands, I think that there could have been a better option um, than the black. I think it, it the black works, but I think it feels like something else could have worked even better. Um, I don't know if it's possible to get the maybe copper colored hands, uh, but it, it, it's just, it, that's just an observation um, for me. The second thing, and then this is more of a wish, is I really, really hope to see these come in a mechanical chronograph eventually in the future, a reliable mechanical chronograph. Uh, I think uh, these in a mechanical chronograph would just, it would, they would just be amazing. Um, and this is nothing, no gripe against quartz. Uh, the quartz keeps this affordable and it's a beautifully designed watch, but still I, I, I yearn for a little bit more. I think this with a mechanical chronograph would just be amazing. Um, it, it's funny because the second I got this watch in the first thing that came to mind was uh, there's a scene in Avengers Infinity War where Captain America has just gotten to Wakanda and as, as they're about to discuss their plans to deal with Thanos, his forces decide to, to, to crash the party. And as T'Challa, as Black Panther is walking away, he sp speaks to someone off screen and he just says, get that man a shield. And, and this is in reference to Captain America. Um, to me, I'm thinking of Jonathan as Captain America in this, in, in, in that kind of viewpoint in terms of get that man an affordable mechanical chronograph. I think he would do wonders with it. I, I think he would create some amazing pieces. Uh, just his design aesthetic, and, and that's something a lot of people who like Brew are going for. His design aesthetic would just be amazing. Uh, but th those are my opinions. Um, definitely, I know a ton of individuals who are probably just like, these are just fine. Um, but still, uh, I, I, I can't help it. <laughs> I, 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 I would love to see a mechanical version of this. Um, but thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, that was our quick review of the Brew Master Graph. Once again, this is priced at $375. Want to thank Jonathan for loaning this into the channel. And I hope everyone enjoyed this review. If you have any more questions in regards to the watch, just drop them in the comments. If you agree with me, disagree with me on the watch, same thing. All opinions are welcomed. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Bye.